guys, you guys, this is a 93% Ivy Jinx. A lot of mosquitoes here, I'm somewhere in Fo Tan. Oh, it's only 336 CP. A lot of dogs here. Then if you can uh, hear. Oh, come on, Jinx. Gotcha. Ninety three per cent. The reason this is significant is because Pound Psy Shock is supposed to be the best attacking roof set. Although I much prefer Frost Breath, Ice Punch, Double Ice, which is really useful against Dragonites. But hey, <clears throat> you always want a varied move set, right? That's as is customary. Have a look at my jinxes. This is my best jinx. Frost breath, ice punch, 96% IV. Apparently the best defensive move set, but I think I prefer it as an attacker. 93% IV I just caught. I think I'll put an A next to this one, a capital A. It's listed as the best attacking move set according to Professor Kikuri's spreadsheet. A lot of dogs here. Very territorial. Anyway, another frost breath ice punch. Uh, this is only 80% IV, but it's also got the same moveset. Pound size shock. And another frost breath ice punch. And another frost breath ice punch. I've I think I've deleted I think I've deleted some of the other movesets I got. But anyway guys. 93% IV Jinx Frost. I mean pound size shock. It's a rare moveset guys. I've been looking for this one for a bit. With good IVs. Let's favorite that guy. You guys, 100% IV Pokemon right now. If it'll load, it was there just a second ago. There it is. It is a Venonat. No, it's not. There you go. 257, that's not bad. 1-2-3-yes-there-we-go-sweet-guys-I-think-this-is-my-first-I'm-pretty-sure-this-is-my-first-yeah-the-bit-lighting's-better-over-here-I'll-walk-over-here-HP attack it's stats are the best I've ever seen, no doubt about it. There you go, there's my 100% Ivy Venonat. And now, as is customary, I will show you my Venonats and Venom Moths. I've got some good IV ones, but that is, I'm pretty sure that's my first 100% IV. Yeah, it's my first 100% IV. I've got a 98% IV, which is at 4,000 dust, which is really high level. Then I've got 91% IV, another 91% IV, the 100% IV down and out we just caught. And here are my Venomoths. This one I kept because it's got Bug Bite, Bug Burst. I caught it in the wild. I'll probably, probably use it as a prestige. And this, and then I've got my 91% IV, Confusion Bug Buzz, best defensive moveset, and this one. Really low CP, but it's the best defensive moveset, Confusion Bug Buzz. So they have, although I'm not sure Bug Buzz, I think I prefer another move because Bug Buzz takes a long time to, ch 
it takes a long time uh, to uh, it's a it, it takes a long time to actually it's like more than it's like 1.9 seconds or two seconds between the uh, move text and the yellow flash so it's easy for our opponents to dodge so I think I prefer uh, psychic confusion psychic but yeah guys hope you enjoyed 100% IV Venonat guys you guys 96% IV Graveler is about to pop up after I make this turn it should pop up there it is there it is now I just need to park stop the car Oh, 9.26. Gravelers are a lot further away than you think. Ooh. Oh, I got lucky with that. I never understood how if we can jump and I can also get a grade. Oh no. Ooh. This is 96%, guys. This is not child's play. Another great ultra ball. Raspberry. One, two, three. Yes! Woohoo! 96%. Evolved form as well. HP. Best I've ever seen. It's HP 15. Attack and. Defense is 14, Mud Slap, Rock Slide. Yep, there it is. Oop, there it is. 96% IV. You guys! Ooh, check that out. <laughs> A lot of starter Pokemon spawning. As is customary though, let me show you my Geodudes. And gravelers and golems. I actually have a graveler that's I've had for ages. I thought I was gonna evolve it, and then I just started collecting better, better gravelers. I've had this one since August the second, because I thought there's no way I'm gonna get it. Oh, I know why I kept it, because it's got rock throne stone edge, and I use it in gyms and stuff. Yeah, that's why. <clears throat> but yeah, this is the guy. Mud slap rock slide. 96% IV. My golems, 91% IV. Rock throw earthquake. 96% IV. Mud slap stone edge. And 100% IV. Really low CP, 217. And it has mud slap and ancient power, which is a serious letdown. I don't know if I'll power it up. Having 100% IV does give you the highest possible CP um, golem. So it's better for putting in gyms. And Ancient Power is... Uh... And with Ancient Power, it's going to attack a lot quicker. So it's going to do more damage. But I think Stone Edge is still... If Stone Edge were a slower attack, like as slow as Earthquake, then I would prefer Ancient Power. But because Stone Edge is uh, such a quick attack, it only takes 0 0.8 seconds um, uh, from the move text to the yellow flash. And that's really quick. It's really hard to dodge. Um, it's easy to dodge if you train, but because it only it's just so quick, it's easy to make a mistake. That's that's what I said. That's what I meant. And I've got my others, so I've got to think about that. And my other Geo dudes, uh, I've got also another ninety six percent because I had from an egg. Um, two ninety three percent that I've had for ages. Identical CP, identical IV, identical everything. Move set, tackle, dig, rock throw, dig. So different moves. And this 96, as I said, and this other one 91%. I'm not gonna, I don't know what, what I'm going to do with all these guys because I can't evolve them. And I've got to power, power some of them, power either all of them up or evolve one and power one of them, uh, evolve one and power two of them up. Actually, yeah, so, and, and if I power this one up, it might, it might just like take all of the candies. <laughs> So, who knows? 
I don't think I can power this one up fully, either way. But I'll have to make a decision on that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. 96% Ivy Graveler. You guys! You guys! 100% Ivy Ponyta! I just got here in time. Oh my goodness. It's only 515. Doesn't matter. Should I great ball it or ultra ball it? No, I'm ultra balling it. Definitely ultra balling this. And it's only like half green. Yes! Another 100% RV Pokemon. There you go, HP, attack, defense. Stats, I've, stat, its stats are the best I've ever seen. Okay, now as is customary, let me show you my Ponytars. Ponytars Pokemon that I don't really pay much attention to, so I don't know where it is on the, on the list. Uh, okay, no. I think we're past it. There you go. There we go. There we go. I haven't got that many. So only 96. This 96% Ivy one. Apparently this is the best defensive move set. Oh, I got this in TST. Cool. Um, now this one is another drill run and heat wave. I haven't got a fire blast. Well, that's kind of lame. Ho well, hopefully I've got some good Ivy ones ready to evolve. Um... That 89% one probably won't be able to be evolved. Because I haven't got that many candy. But yeah. Anyway, 100% Ivy Ponyta. 291% and 96% Rapidash, 93% Rapidash. Both with Drill Run and this 60, this 89% Ivy one has got uh, Heat Wave. Yeah guys. No, not that. Not this one. Both out of eggs. This one out of an egg. This one's really low. <laughs> anyway, 100% IV Ponyta. You guys, I clicked on it straight away because it was, it was about to despawn and I didn't want to risk it. This is a thousand and ninety, uh, as you can see, Porygon, and it's 82% IV. These are rare, okay? Great. One, two, three, yes. <laughs> I rarely do you see a good IV with uh, also high CP. Look at that power bar. Sweet. It's 82%, it's 82%. Let's have a look at it again, let's have a look. Oh, where is it? Where is that thing? 82%. Its defense is unfortunately, or one of its stats is, is only 7 out of 15, whereas the other two are maxed out. HP attack, yeah, so its defense is bad. Okay, sweet guys, sweet. Right now, I'm gonna go and catch something else, so I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll review later. I'll, I'll show you the rest of my Paragons a bit, in a bit later, but I'm, I have to go and catch something else right now. All right, guys. How's it going? I didn't catch what I was supposed to catch. There was a 100% IV execute, but I didn't make it, which is kind of lame, but at least we caught this guy. So as is customary, I'll go through. I also caught this 91% IV uh, Tangler not long ago, but let's have a le let's have, actually have a look at my Porygons. Well, I'll show you my ex executors first. Where are they? There you go. I have two more 93% ones. Uh, I do have a 100% IV one, but it doesn't have solar beam. It has double psychic move. Zen have but psychic, which is still good. It's still very powerful. I'm in, I'm at Hong Hum Station right now. Just 
which is why there are some a lot of car noises or bus noises to be precise. 100% IV, 93% IV Zen Hepa Solar Beam, 89% IV Confusion Seed Bomb. Now this is the one I'm going to power up as well. Uh, Confusion Seed Bomb, but this was 96% IV, best defensive move set. I'm going to power up these two, Zen Hepa Solar Beam and Zen Hepa Psychic. And another Zen Hepa Solar Beam. So I, I want to power them all up to be honest. I mean look at my candy count. There's a almost 800 candies. I'm going to build that up further once I get to two, that, 2 million dust. Okay, now onto my Porygons. I probably won't evolve these three. I'll save off. I normally, I normally don't, don't um, keep any execute that on 90 plus percent IV, but look at its power bar. It's, it's the max level you can catch it at, at 5,000 dust. Yeah, the max level. So if, if you see a Pokemon that's at 5,000 dust, where it says power up, that's the, that's the maximum dust number it can be once you, uh, as a wild Pokemon. You can't catch higher than that. So that's why I kept it. Um, but yeah, onto my Porygons. Huh? There you go. Yeah, I thought this one was high. No, no, no. This one's the highest. 82. Actually, they might be the same, but because this one has better IVs. Much better IVs. 1,090. Porygon. 82% IV. It's not as good as this one. That could potentially be 84% or 87% IV, but it's really low. And I, I like no one has any candies to power these guys up. So, and you need you need gonna need candies to evolve them. So, but yeah, this is my best. 82% IV, then 73% IV, 53% IV. Don't know about this one. Some of them I don't know because this was just so low. I just didn't bother. And they were probably, probably, probably below 50%. Yeah, the ones I don't know IVs are. Just I didn't bother below 50%, another one, another one. So my highest IV is actually my lowest CP one, ironically. But now that is different because we have this guy. 82% IV, 1,090 Porygon guys. So we didn't catch 100% IV execute, but we got this guy. Hope you enjoyed. You guys, you guys, 100% IV execute should be right here at this roundabout. Should be right here. Should be right here. Come on, execute. It's time to spawn. It's time to spawn, execute. I know you're there. There it is. There it is. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Nine four. That's the max. That has to be the max level for execute. Holy crap! Holy crap! I'll uh. Oh no! I only got a nice. Come on now! Hundred percent. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. One hundred percent IV execute. I do already have a hundred percent IV one. Is it 5,000 dust? Yes, it's 5,000 dust. Look at that power bar. It's the maximum. Just to confirm. Looks like I can battle with the best of them. Best quality is HP. Attack is grade two. Defense is grade two. The stats are the best of, it's stats are the best I've ever seen. Sweet. Just let me park up on the other side of the road because it's more convenient for me to leave. There we go. There we go, guys. 100%. As is customary, allow me to show you my executes.
Where are my executes? There we go, executes. I've got an 87% IV that I haven't transferred yet. I'm going to. But here are my executes. This is the one we just caught. I can't believe it was got so lucky. The highest level possible, 5,000 dust. And then 87% IV. This one I'll transfer right now, even though it's really high level. Look at the difference though, 87% IV and 100% IV. Like you would think 87% IV is pretty much like approaching the most powerful it can be. Let me go plus that right now. Uh, but look, look at the CP difference. There's like 30, a, a CP 30, dif a th 30 CP difference. And that's just an execute. That might get bigger once it evolves. So that's why you want to get into the 90 plus percent range. Because 87% ain't gonna ain't gon cut it. Okay, transfer that guy. I, I can't evolve them anyway. I can't evolve it anyway. Because this one, 93% IV. Another 100% IV execute. My third now. And then another 93% IV. This is too low level, but it might be good for prestiging. So I'll see. I'll see what it evolves into. And now my executors. 91% IV, Zen Hepat Solar Beam. I didn't power this one up, it was already the most powerful. This is my other 100% IV execute, Executor. Zen Hepat Psychic. As an attacker, it's not great, but as a defender, it's it's pretty much, it's pretty up there. Seed Bomb is better for defending. Another 93% IV, uh, Zen Hepat Solar Beam, 1600 CP. What was this one? It was also 1600 CP and 2300 CP for my 91% Zen Hepat Solar Beam. 93% IV, then my Confusion Seed Bomb, 89% IV, I think this is my first ever, yep, August 8th, August 4th, and then my best defender, 96% IV, Confusion Seed Bomb. That might change if I get Confusion Seed Bomb with my 100% IV, but yeah guys, 100%, my third 100% IV execute, sweet.